All right, we're about to depart from Berlin. And as you can see, the background radiation is about 0.15 microsieverts here. And let's see if that changes once we arrive near the uranium mines. We just entered Saxony quite a while ago, and as you can see, the background radiation increased to 0.23 microsieverts, which is quite a lot. Remember, in Berlin we had about 0.15, now it's, yeah, over 0.2. And now we have arrived at Hartenstein. Uh, you can see the uranium mine in the back. And this is like a big pile of all kinds of stuff, all kinds of rocks. But there has to be uranium in there. As you can see, we reach about 0.4 microsieverts here. And look at this. It looks like we found a little hot spot. We're up to seven microsieverts. Wow. And this is Bergenstreuberg where they used to dig for uranium as well. This is again Bergenstreuberg. You can see slightly increased background radiation here. Now we're back at Bergenstreuberg, the big, uh, like the big digging site here, and I noticed that my dosimeter just went off because we reached a background radiation of over two microsieverts. You can see I'm not holding it uh, towards the the earth or anything. You can see it's just really irradiating here. So let's see if we can find some uranium. That's what I found so far. It's a very tiny piece. But you can see the, the greenish stuff, then should be uranocertite, some kind of uranium mineral. I just found something that is really amazing. You can see background radiation is one microsievert. Can you see the green stuff on here? Do you see this? Do you hear this? Oh, I can't see it because of my shadow, but... You see this? We have over 100 microsieverts here. It's really fucking hot. Oh my god, I just scored some uranium. Jesus, look at this. <laughs> my friend is laughing. <laughs> Jesus, look at this. Oh my god, so pretty.
By the way, sorry about the bad quality of the last clips, but I accidentally changed the video resolution to a very low resolution, so... But that is fixed now. And now we're at home. And those are our rocks, and as you see, you can see nothing. Well, not much anyway. There's something there. What we need is UV light. As you can see, it's all green. This is all uranium bearing stuff. Just some kind of minerals that are called uranocetid and autonite. Not sure how to say it in English, so. Yeah, it's quite nice anyway, don't you agree? Sweet. There's also this little chunk. Those are my best ones. They are almost pure as you can see. I'll try and focus a bit more. Hang on. Yep, that's better. Now you can see them. You can see they're quite pure. The tiny chunks here are almost pure. And this is the big bone. And this one is my best find. It irradiates really strongly. I'll show you that in a second. Let's have a look at how strongly our little pile irradiates. You can see the radiation here is about 0.6, which is quite high, but if I get closer to this pile, as you can see, it's getting worse, a lot worse. And if I hold it on top of the strongest one, of course. see we can we are quickly reaching over 100 microsieva nice and a little pile about 70 in there, 17 microsieverts. Just those tiny things, you can see my hand. So they're really tiny. Not yet. Well, it's uranium. And it irradiates. Don't you just love ionizing radiation? Well, I do anyway. Also, as a side note, this is one of my shoes I've been wearing when digging for uranium. And look at this. You see the green stuff there? That's all uranium minerals, so if you decide to go and dig up some uranium, just be careful that you don't contaminate everything in your house.